Last night, NBC's Michael Isakoff leaked a 16-page Justice Department white paper on the Obama administration's justification for the targeted killing of American citizens. Today, Jay Carney did actually get peppered by some questions, or with some questions, uh, from reporters. And so I just want to play a clip of that. When asked to justify this legal rationale for the targeted killing of American citizens, it kind of looked like he was just reading off of a, a pre-written statement on a piece of paper. Take a look at this. You know, we have acknowledged, the United States, uh, that sometimes we use remotely piloted aircraft to conduct targeted strikes against specific al-Qaeda terrorists in order to prevent attacks on the United States and to save American lives. <clears throat> we conduct those strikes because they are necessary to mitigate ongoing actual threats, to stop plots, prevent future attacks, and again, save American lives. These strikes are legal. Uh, they are ethical and they are wise. Right. Well, that's the whole interesting thing about this is that they do have to read those prepared statements because if uh, because, you know, he's speaking from the podium for uh, on behalf of the White House, I'm sure some DOJ lawyer could find a way to wrangle him out of it or try to wrangle him out of it. If the FOIA, if uh, he did mention something that maybe specified the agency at which um, which was conducting these operations. But that's been one of the ways they've gotten out of uh, turning over this some of the, uh, you know, documents on on drones is by, you know, saying, you know, uh, essentially representing that no government official had ever acknowledged the specific agency which was conducting uh, these uh, these operations and saying that, you know, we only spoke about them in, in sort of broad terms. So you're not, um, you know, and not acknowledging the formal existence of an OLC memo um, uh, is also sort of, uh, you know, one of the ways they've wrangled around it. And you actually had, you know, a judge in, in this case uh, acknowledge, I think I have the, the quote here, um, this was a situation where uh, she called that, I believe, Alice in Wonder, uh, like, you know, a catch-22 and uh, the Alice in Wonderland uh, nature of the pronouncement um, by saying that she was essentially um, forced to, uh, you know, deny this, uh, this uh, FOIA lawsuit because of uh, the way that they had sort of gotten, had the broad discussion about the uh, legal restrictions, but not gotten any, into any of the specifics that would allow someone to ha have standing in a FOIA suit.